Southern women don't give a fuck. No. Right. And they will fuck you and God bless you to your face. Mm -hmm. And there's special your whore. Let's your whore. I'm, you know oh, what? Bless your Joey, I'm gonna pray for you, baby. I'm gonna pray yeah. for you. That basically means <laughs> oh, she's you're a fat fuck. <laughs> she, she's touched. She's not. You look beautiful. She's you know, touched. She's touched. All right, welcome on into Out and About. We have Heather McMahon on the show today. Pretty much, we have Oprah Winfrey on the show. But yes, Heather McMahon. <laughs> what, what a! I said that like a question. It wasn't a question. That was one of the, this was one of Heather the most McMahon is fun. here. She's here, and she's queer. She get used to it. <laughs> she's not queer. <laughs> She, well, she's probably open to a lot of things. You know, her, my favorite thing about Heather McMahon is her line is thick neck, skinny ankles. Thick neck, thin ankles, <laughs> Which I yeah. think is the funniest thing she's in the world. She's a spitfire. Um, if you don't know who Heather McMahon is, I mean, you're about to be lasted into her world and you're going to uh, buckle up because it's going to be a wild ride and you're going to like what you see with her. But um, what great interview we're going to have about to It's going to be awesome. And here's the thing. We are rapidly approaching the end of um, Pride Month. Oh, which yeah. means, see it. Go, girl. Which means we are... Uh, what's today? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're two days away from the big parade. I know. How are you feeling? You know what? I am a little, I'm a little. The un, no, I'm un. Tired? No. Hungry. What's it called? I am, I'm in like in between. I'm un, 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 uh, unwell. You're no. apathetic. You are unwell, but you're No, apathetic. what is it called when you're like. Apathetic. No. Right? No, apathetic means you don't care. You care. Yeah. I care. No, I just, I, I am. You're ready for it to start. Because we're I am, building but I'm, I'm excited, but I'm also not excited. Okay, so it's basically my outfit. I don't know what I'm wearing. That, okay, so let's get to the bottom of it. You don't know what you're wearing. I definitely want to wear one of our Viva merch as it, as it's, um, that's on sale on the uh, store.horsesports.com right now. And you can, all the proceeds go to the center of New York, the LGBTQ center of New York. Yeah, or also just the center. The center. Um, I'm wearing definitely my Viva t-shirt that I got there, but I want to be dazzled somehow. I hate when they cut it into tank top because I need something. I need support. You need coochie cutters for pants too. I have them. You do? I have denim coochie cutters. Oh. So I might sure? wear those. Um, but you know, I don't want to, I don't know. What are you going to wear? I'm going to wear a Viva shirt cut into a really long, like weight like lift. Like, yeah, like a shredder thing. I got T-scars on the side. Yeah, but you can get rid of those. Dr. Heather, Dr. Terry Debro, we have Heather Bro on next week, actually gave you a free consult. Well, he didn't give me a free time. I stole a free time. <laughs> I, he walked yeah. in, Forced it on. He walked him. in. I yeah. ambushed him with so my, my big jugs right in his face, and I asked him what he what he could do to help me. That's usually five. That's usually five hundred bucks. That's the thing. That's just, that's the thing going forward. If, he, if, if they step over our threshold in our studio, it's open fire. I'm allowed yes. to do whatever I want. Absolutely, you're allowed if, to if do you're my, I'm taking a free consultation. I'm gonna I'm gonna you know take what take what's rightfully mine. You're gonna take what's you're gonna you're gonna take it. Before it's given to you. Yeah, just like when the, the just like when those uh, lovely girls and uh, chicks got to eat, I stole the vibrators right out of the purse. Oh, those those girls were awesome. We have such a list here of people. You're who in are our gone. house. Did y'all see it might rain? When Sunday? Oh, good, good. No, God. no, they would These never. These queens are it. not. There's like five million people who flew into the city for this. No, if it rains, that will be my literal nightmare. No, having it to, won't. Having to hold a camera for five hours, like having to oh, make sure you got to no put a, you gotta bring a plastic. I know bag or it's something. such a pain in the ass. I'm oh, okay no. with it. Not for I don't need to, Marty. I'm sure it's gonna suck for you, but for me, <laughs> um, you'll melt in the rain. Which no one's melting. It's, it's hot and it. it's raining. It's I'm fine. It's hot and rain. Not when it's freezing. I think that'll be fun if it rains. Sluttier outfits. We should wear bathing suits. Yeah, I know. You actually requested that Rudy wear all white. And I think that's because you saw- Is anyone coming or any, like last year, all the hot guys, I don't think any Barstool talent's coming besides me and you. That's, I literally have the list. Would you like to hear? Should I read the list or no? Yes. Is that okay? I, I, right now, I don't know who's coming. Okay, here's the list. Some of these people I'm sure will drop and then we'll have people added. Joey Camasta, Joey Camasta guest, Pat McAuliffe, Pat McAuliffe guest. Uh, Donnie Does, Big Cat, Feidelberg, Rudy, uh, John Rich, Alex Bennett, Cons, Grace, Brianna, Casey, Kelly Keegs, Caroline, Mikey Pavs, Billy Football, Nick Tarani, Katie. Lies, lies, lies. Jackie, uh, Kate. Maybe Frankie and Riggs. My friend Mrs. Dow Jones will be there. Jess Kirsten will be there. Ian Fidance will be there. Yeah. Nikki will be there. Potentially, yes. Really? She'll be there. I think so, yeah. Um, who else do we have? And then we have a ton of people from The Office coming. We have a bunch of people from people Penn, Penn National Gaming coming. We have Penn National Gaming. It's good. I'm ready for this thing to start. Yeah, that's a squad. I don't know what you were talking about. I never saw yeah. the list. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, it's going to be fun. Make sure if you're, if you're on the route, come because we'll be throwing shit out. We're gonna, I'll be us. throwing shade out. Show us, your show us your tits. I want to see tits this year. Who is, why is Big Cat not coming? He is coming. Is that it? Potentially, yeah. He was there last year. Yeah. But it's just, I mean, it's really about us. Do we need it? Should we request that no one is on the bus except us and everyone has to walk around the edges? Well, I'm going to be, I'm going to be in the, on the bottom half of the bus where there's air conditioning into the window so no one can see me. <laughs> so I'm to, to, uh, contractually, I am there sipping yes. my meat is drinking, um, um, proper wilds and getting myself a green shake from from Bloom, but I will be doing it in, in, in close quarters. I love that. We should have invited Heather McMahon on the thing. 
She be, no, she would steal the show. We can't have her on. Oh wait, completely random. Did you hear about the sub the uh, submarine? That's very sad. Should we not even talk about that? It's uh, it's terrifying when I think about it. That I mean, is my like, worst nightmare. Yeah, the five. But by the time this comes summer. out, they'll probably be either found or dead. It also is insane okay. that people on Twitter are like making jokes about it just because one of the guys is a billionaire. Like like that's like it's a funny thing because of that. Oh, I think it. Well, the kid, the billionaire's son. I mean, that's that part was funny that he went to the concert. Yeah, he went to the concert on uh, a Blink One Eight Two concert while his dad is like yeah, locked in insane. a submarine down below. That's but insane. they said that the, it they could have imploded by now. But they're also tapping on the like thing to do Morse codes. So they can hear on sonar. I don't know. That's my worst nightmare. Terrifying. Who would you want to be stuck in a submarine with from here? Five people. The end of your life. You I get to, to die. You, you have to list five people in the office who you'd want to be stuck on a submarine with. Also, we're praying, hoping that these people are alive. You know, it's sad. I would want Johnny does because he's a will. He's an outdoorsman and, and he's he can a, chef up the first dead body. Not Johnny does. Johnny wonton Don. Oh, wonton Don. Yeah. No, I feel like he would. He'd be smoking hoons then. No, he's he's hmm. a he's a wilderness man. He like he does. He does all that. All that wild shit. OK. So you don't know that. I do know that. Um, I would want him. I would want large because he seems very intelligent. You're picking the largest. Yeah, I don't care about. I'm thinking about who's going to save my life. If, there, if, if there's anyone who's going to be able to save the submarine, it'd be these people. See, I think I'm going for strictly size, and I'm accepting. Why? I'm accepting the fact that my life is over, well, and I want to be able to well, at least not get that. a cramp in my knee on the way down. If you said if I'm just going to die, if I know I'm going to die, or if, if I was down you there, you don't know. Well, if I was down there, I'd want people that there was potentially getting saved. Okay, so you're going for intelligence. So we're going large. We're going wonton don. We're I'm going, going large. I'm going wonton don. Uncle I'm going. D. No, I'm going um, Stephen Shea. Stephen Shea. I would do Kate. She seems like she can, she was in the military. And Captain Cons, the military guy. Good Lord. I yeah. think that's, those are, it's two different philosophies. Well, I would want people, I have I know nothing about science or, or, or gravity or all that weird shit where I am. These people have been in, been in the army and the war and the things like that. They know all that shit. Uh, I just easy. really don't think there's much problem solving to be done in this situation. <laughs> like, Yeah, I guess. It's a machine. What happened? The machine broke? So There's the thing that theories. was steering the machine was like, like a, a PS4 controller. Yeah, like a Logitech, like, yeah. Like not even grand. like the brand one. Yeah, like. It was an off brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good Lord. That's why I don't fuck with the ocean. I I, I, don't, I don't go swim in that thing. You've never been at, no, I, you don't like the beach at all. We talked about no, this on the last show. Who would like the beach? It's, there's, there's nowhere to pee. It's in the fucking, ocean. Sand it's the everywhere. biggest toilet on earth is no, the ocean. No, and then you have to, you have to worry about t- things touching your legs. Oh, it's I far milk. walks. I get chub rub. It's just in beating sun. There's no getting away out of the sun. I don't like the beach. What, do you like lakes? No, nothing. No natural bottles of water. I like the pool. What, Will Compton was saying he does lake poops or or like ocean poops. He'll take a shit Ugh. in That's the sink. disgusting. Yeah, no. It's foul. Uh-uh. What if the stool is soft? No one wants floats, to hear about Well, you this. can mistake it for pond silt. It's just, you're not getting clean. Like, I, yeah, uh-uh. Ugh. Foul. Anyway. Oh, part of my cheese stick just um, messaged me. What'd they say? They said, thank you for reposting. Oh, that's cool. I saw him. I was walking to work today. There's on the corner. Sandra, don't you run that? Was that you who said that? <laughs> I know. That was sorry. Oh, good. But it's about a part of my cheese stick. I'm having that for lunch today. Very good. Very Maybe good. we should bring one to Heather. I'd love to do that. Um, let's get to our interview with Heather right now. We cover it all. She was just at Radio City Music Hall. She crushed. If you don't uh, know who she is, this consider this a gift from us to you. Your life is going to be changed forever. She is lovely and she's a queen of all queens. Here is Heather McMahon. All right, guys. Pride Month is winding down. We're building up to the big parade on Sunday, two days from now. Make sure you check that out. And we're going to be celebrating with Mamitas. Live Mucho this Pride Month with our favorite tequila seltzer, Mamitas. It's time for Mucho Sun, Mucho Music, and Mucho Tequila. It's Mamitas comes in seven delicious flavors, mango, pineapple, lime, new cocktail pack, Paloma Spicy Mark, Classic Mark, and Tequila Sunrise. But I like putting them together. Like right. I, When I first had Mamitas, I thought it was suggested. It was like a cocktail mixer. So I, so I was adding more tequila to it. So I had one tequila, two tequilas, three tequila floor. Okay. And, um, but now I realize there's just enough alcohol and it's 5% alcohol. Yep. It has um, less than two grams of sugar, yep. only 95 calories. It's gluten-free. So anyone- It's can, GF? It's GF. Oh, God. totally. Oh Good GF. And you know, it's light and refreshing. And I've been drinking them all summer. I had them on Father's Day. I was serving them on their own. You had I was going to mix up ago. a little bit of cocktails with them. But they're so refreshing and- there's the perfect drink for some of that, really for any time. And um, you know, you don't have to worry about your waistline when you're drinking Mamitas. No, you're absolutely right. And I love Mamitas and we're going to be celebrating with them on Sunday. And you can find Mamitas this Pride Month at drinkmamitas.com and on GoPuff. Find Mamitas um, this Pride Month at drinkmamitas.com and on GoPuff. What's going on here? Where? 
Oh, a dryer sheet. Yeah, dryer sheet. Yeah. <laughs> I should find panties in my pants. And then your pants. Did you ever find panties in his pants? Can I tell you, one time I found a uh, sticky bra stuck on the back of one of my t-shirts. I had, <laughs> you know, shacked at a guy's um, fraternity house at Ole Miss. And I went to class the next day at like 9 a.m. There was this, one of my sticky boobs. Was and this, stuck was, on the this back. was a year ago. Yes, yeah. this was actually a year ago. You should fit your ass. Uh, we're live with Heather McMahon. Heather, Hi. Thank you so much for coming Hey, in. thanks for having me. You guys are old Honor. friends. You guys know oh, each other. We're old yeah. pals. Oh, pals. Yeah. And this is actually the first, I realize this is the first like documented um, uh, program we've done together. We've, I know. We've been chummy for many moons, but um, this is the first time we actually sat down professionally. I know. And you know what? I This is our Oprah and Gail moment. Yeah. And, you know, be the you today that you want to be tomorrow. So I'm I very know. excited we've to be here. put it to fruition. Well, welcome. Congratula- <laughs> congratulations. Pardon. Thank you. Thank you. She has a pearl nail on. Yes, I do. It's a chrome. It's a chrome oh, nail. A, a right. lilac duo chrome nail. Yes, break down, the, break down the beat, Joe. What are we doing? What are oh, we working on her beat? No, yeah. she, she yeah. has a fresh blowout. No, okay. is that the Dyson? Um, no, actually. Do I just, Southern girls come up from- I'm uh, pretending like I have back up in your hair. hair. I have nothing yeah. written down. So I do have a Dyson, yeah. but I got to be honest with you, I don't think it really holds much. Like no. when I do the Dyson blowout, I'm like, ah, uh, whatever. No. No, I just got to smooth those ends, especially down the south. Always. <laughs> Always. That's that's that fluffy. humidity, so like a baby. poodle coming out of there. <laughs> um, it's more about, you know, Tic Tac. But yeah, you look stunning. She's wearing a white blade, a cream. Is it cream? It's a white blazer. It's white, I think. Yes. She has an ice cream flavored dunks. Yes. Low <laughs> yes. top dunks. <laughs> mm-hmm. a, a wedding ring from um, Capri. Uh, no, yeah, H&H Jewelry, actually, in the <laughs> Diamond District Did you here. get a hookup with Jewelry as well? Uh, wait, ju- we, just had, we just had Amanda Hirsch in here. She had a fucking five-carat sh- sh- shiner yeah, like on her fucking in, finger was, that she did for a free. brand collab. Yeah. No, no one's ever given me That's three what I'm fucking I, I, diamonds. I get fucking uh, flat tummy teas and mud masks. This bitch is getting five carat diamond rings. People just send me alcohol. Yeah. And like flat tummy tea. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Uh, no, I have no. And actually, um, I took tw- like eight years to get this ring. I know. So That's you know hard. what? H&H Jewelry, call me. I would like a deal. Give me some fucking blood diamonds. <laughs> God damn it. Um, well, I'm excited to have you here. And I've been following her on for, for years, yeah. back when she's from New York. Where Are you living in Atlanta now? Again? I'm in Atlanta. I'm back in the South. At mom's yeah. house still? You have your own place? No, we're at mom's house. We're yeah. making it. Dream. our It honestly kind of is. I would love to move back to my her mother's house. That's like, yeah. The, her, Robin the Red right? Contemporary. She's an oh, artist. She's a she, fine artist. Say that again? Robin the what? The Red, the Red Contemporary. contemporary. Oh. That's the name of her, her art page. She's, yes. a, she's a fine artist. And yes. Well, we'd love some artwork for the studio kicker. if you're watching. She's a spit kicker as well. I I did not. I thought you said not spit. I thought you said something else. Racial. Oh no, I would okay. I would use I would use more enunciation using the racial stuff. <laughs> Just wanted to check. Just wanted to check. I just dropped my mom off at the Hudson Yards. My mom is like from Boston. And to this morning, she woke up and she has been since 8 a.m. literally just yelling, I got to go to Zara. I got to get to the Zara, the H&M. <laughs> this woman has more money than all of us, yet she still will not buy herself like a Louis Vuitton bag or yeah. anything nice. I, I said, love mom, that. She's such, she's hot. My mom is hot. She's 75, has like a hot little she's body, zesty. still has Marty, very perky tits. Her mother, if yeah, you Robin, Robin McMahon. McMahon, the Red yeah. Contemporary. She was just on the Today Show. So yeah. Was she? Yeah. yeah, she's quite oh, iconic. Lord. She's like, She's more famous than us. Yes, for no. sure. For, for, for sure. Yeah. But she will not buy, like, she will not spend any money. She's waiting for you to buy it for her. Uh, absolutely. And yeah. you know what? I'm done. I yeah. buy everything. I, know. I I spend all of the money. Um, are, you doing, are you doing KFC or anything? Or you just did KFC? I just did KFC. Yes. How was that? It they're was the great. Best. I love those they're guys. The yeah, they're, they're awesome. They had Chris Hemsworth on the other day. They I know. That was a big moment for them. over him. Yeah. Love I know. Chris I was Hemsworth. very excited for them. So you're in, in the South. You have Now your son's doing well? Yes. She has a, she has a, a, How old? a bulldog. I have a bulldog. Yes. Rigatoni. Rigatoni. And then we just, I just had a daughter, <laughs> Macaroni. So oh, she's, I didn't know you had a second. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's well, five months great. old. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Rigatoni and Mac. And yeah. Macaroni. macaroni. What were yeah. Caitlin Bristow's dog's names? Oh. Like Pino and something. Pino and. Rigatoni and Macaroni. Tortilla. Savvy yeah. B. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, savvy <laughs> B. Um, so you're back in the sand, but you're traveling. You're, really, you're a lady of the sit of the country. I'm a lady of the world, if you will. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the road. So I basically am only in Atlanta like 48 hours every week. It's, hot a, it's insane. Hot Atlanta. And it's hot. When people from Atlanta are like, it's not hot Atlanta, it's fucking hot. So I don't yeah, know why yeah. they're fighting. I'm born and raised there. Like, and you're the reason that Kim Zolciak is getting divorced from... Um, Croy. Croy beer. That's what so I, heard. I don't think yeah. I'm the reason, but I definitely, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. And <laughs> well, you know, no, I'm shocked by it. I got to be honest with you. I am shocked. We know each other like uh, through Instagram and stuff, and Kim will DM yeah. me all the time. I'm honestly shocked. Like, did I didn't Corey see this hand coming. Did hand stitch a wig for you, dear? No, he did not okay. hand stitch a wig. <laughs> oh, it's getting nasty, too. There, There's Rolls Royce payments that are, it's like TMZ every day. Like, finances are being exposed. They're just at each other's throats. So can I be honest with you? This yeah. is a prime example. Like I'm giving my mom shit about not going and getting like a Louis Vuitton bag. So she looks reach at Radio City. But this is it. <laughs> Don't live above your means. Like right. I yes. like nice shit, but I also, this outfit's from Zara. Like what are we doing here? I, I need
I'll tell oh. you in a, I'll get you in for free. Okay, please get me in. Um, Cause you know, you and I can't go to other sample sales because no. the shit doesn't fit us. And yeah. we both look fantastic yes. right now, but we can't go to like a designer sample sale. No. Cause my ass well, is never fit two and sew them together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I got the candles and I spent $700 on, on um, discounted candles. But yesterday. it would have been double. It would have been double, but still, I was like, I don't, re- I don't need, need $700 worth of candles right now. I need to like, you know, save money for, you know, a down payment. But. Right. But you I blacked out and you bought the candles. Got I blacked out yeah. because my boyfriend saw that he was there. He goes, "Why the fuck did you not go get these candles for half off? The candles are like four hundred dollars regularly. Well, They're the big insane. one, the big one, two three hundred dollars. But yeah, you were good though. I think seven hundred for you is a low haul. Yeah, like you have spent money on things that. <laughs> well, my have Easter really tablescape is eight thousand dollars. Your Easter table skit was eight thousand. Yes. You have no what did idea. you have? Versace. No, I had I had a living grass wall, uh, runner. It was like living. I had daffodils coming out of it. Gold mocking There was gold mocking There was a flower wall. There was a, flower there was a wall. fucking a high end like. There was light. There was there was there was um oh cr- there crickets. There was more help. There was than there crickets were people at the party. There was crickets going like and lights up mocking the cricket sounds like at the nighttime after dinner. The crickets doing. Oh, is this oh. in like a rental? Like where where were you it's doing my this? My father's Easter? house is oh. the size of this place <laughs> in New Jersey. You had to, there was dining table the size of this room. He had it one to one. So each person there had a server had a server at the thing well and he was barking orders at everyone smoking cigs in the back it was there's nothing better when you're at your yeah. own party at my wedding i literally because i love a vacation sig i literally uh, was in the back just like we ripping had, we had a drunk sig i think the first time we met yeah we did we had a drunk down, sig. those downtown those downtown nights when we, we were young and single yeah when did you guys first meet a few years, years ago. ago like seven years ago i think where was at, it at claudia Oshray's. of I think when they were launching their podcast, the Morning Toast or something. He was like way or back. Or that or something when she launched her yeah. song or something. Yeah, we were at a party. Ago. Yeah, oh, at a party. Wow. Um, did she try and drag you into the bathroom? No, we went outside. Okay. No, no, yeah, we did. We, we, we yeah. were ladies about it. Okay. We were yeah, outside. Good. We yes. just didn't coke right outside. I was yeah, yeah. That's what I was getting. <laughs> on the streets. <laughs> yeah, right on the streets. Now, depending on the Yeah, time it's New day. York. You know what I mean? Live, love, love. Yeah. Do your coke on outside. On the streets. Um, you now, Southern Belle, you went to Ole Miss. Yes. Hotty Toddy. Have you seen the documentary of of a Shocking. The, the, the Bama the, Rush? The Bama Rush. So I haven't watched it yet, and and here's the reason why. Okay. One, what when was I, your sorority again? Uh, I, was Delta, Gamma. I was a Delta Gamma. Same. We were founded at um, the University of Mississippi. <laughs> Shout out in the bonds, DG. Um, no, the reason one of the reasons why I haven't watched it is because, A, I already am going to call bullshit on it. Yeah. And C, um, I had the best fucking four years of my life being in a sorority. Yeah. I ran that shit. I had so much fun. They didn't haze me. Yeah. You know, were we sitting around in a chapter room being like, that girl may have a lazy eye. You know what yeah. I mean? Do we need <laughs> That's, six but, that's, what we do, that's what we do here. On yeah, the, exactly. On that's just called yeah. sitting around and kikiing with your friends. Yeah. So don't try and villainize us just because we're like, yeah, it might be a little awkward. They sitting didn't make in you stick a five dollar foot long up your pussy exactly. in front of everyone. No, no, they okay. did not. And honestly, I would have gladly done this. <laughs> yes, I would have bent over, <laughs> grabbed my both ends. I would have took one for both ends. Sandra, would you mind running to Subway right now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, what's the doc? What's the doc about? It's about Bama Rush. You remember, remember the TikTok? But it's about like they're shitting on them, saying it's toxic. Well, the TikTok I'm sure everyone became obsessed with it. It's not positive. Yeah, they were saying. You know, Bama Rush. Today I'm wearing. This is from a boutique in Shreveport. I got my. These are pencil poly. My shoes are whatever. I drink my shoes goose. are Willow Tree. Yeah, 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 exactly. And they would show like the bag. So what you would do is because you go to all these different rounds, and they would show like what they would pack in their like travel bag. So you didn't bring your purse. You'd have <laughs> your like. Dream. This is our dream. Rush. It really is our dream. Day three. Dream. You're just day three. It's dream. girls. What are the names of the events? It's They're like. Uh, it would be like philanthropy day, and yeah. it'd be sisterhood day, we and have then the next day we taunt party down south today. Yeah, yeah. and we used yeah. to have this thing which they now banned at Ole Miss, used to have skit day, which is where like you get like the funniest people who are like, you know, if you had cheerleaders or dancers or, you know, performers, if you will, now Broadway could, stars. Well, could, you killed it. I killed it. That's why they can never yeah. live up to you. And, and then that could get racial. They took it away. They took away skit day. No, no, it wasn't like, it wasn't <laughs> no, like vaudeville shows with like blackface. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> um, but no, they took away that day because then they were like, well, it's not fair because some of the other sororities have more talented cheerleaders and dancers. You know yeah, what I mean? I love the and, shit. Yeah. Heather McMahon. AKA, I ran yeah. the shit. Joey? Yeah, I'm tired. Well, I got some proper wild oh, for you, babe. Thank um, you. Uh, you're going to love that. And actually, just kidding. I already drank the entire thing. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. But I need clean all day energy. You do need clean all day energy. Sandra, you have another one. I want another proper wild. Okay. Well, I'll get one. <laughs> You'll get one. If you suffer from the symptoms of ADHD, which include lack of focus, no productivity, and your brain is constantly wandering, hello, everyone suffers from those. You need to check out Proper Wild's clean all day energy shot. Proper Wild uses organic caffeine stacked with L theanine, say that three times fast, which has clinically been shown to boost your energy, focus, and productivity without the jitters or the crash. That's right. It has no preservatives, no artificial sweeteners, no horrible chemicals, just natural tasting energy shot with clean ingredients. Ingredients that work. I've been taking these um, for many moons now. And I actually ran into the guys from Proper Wild. They're lovely. They're I, was, awesome. I was sunbathing. 
You in, I was sunbathing in Miami and oh. all of a sudden uh, the waiter came over with a whole tray of proper wild for me. It was from the gentleman from proper wild. They recognized me poolside. And you know, this got me through the day to keep up with, um, with a, a, a full day in Miami of, of, of uh, hanging out in the sun mm. and partying. And I felt I had energy. I felt um, enthused. I didn't feel like I had a crash. There was no jitters. And it's the best thing to do um, when you need a little pick me up. But I also like to mix cocktails with these as well. Yes, you do. So I, so I get my classic vodka and soda and then I'll just add a, a, add a proper wild and it's flavor. It adds a little sweetness and it adds all day energy so I can keep up with, all, with the Joneses. I'm getting old now. So Proper Wilds will help with that. It's awesome. So go to properwild.com slash barstool to try Proper Wild for 30% off. That's properwild.com slash barstool to try Proper Wild for 30% off. Give it a try. It's a healthy way to give yourself some energy. Um, no, I actually had the best four years of my life. I loved it. I never, I didn't even think I was going to end up at Ole Miss. And then I ended up in Mississippi at like one of the most creme de la creme sororities and I fucking thrived. And so no one will take that away from me. No. Now I want to tell you, no, if you don't know, she's an actress as well. A big yes. Hollywood yes, actress. Yes, big Hollywood actress. She, you know what's like, she's always been so transparent about it. And when she went kind of stories and TikTok stories, come, you're not even TikTok. You were on Instagram stories before that, and mm -hmm. um, Snapchat. She was so transparent about like, you know, how it's like, you know, how fucking struggling, what a struggle it is to make it in Hollywood and how yeah. the real things about going on auditions, how you don't get callbacks and how cutthroat it is. And she was so transparent about like all her downfalls. No, I'm not saying like all your downfalls. Yeah, you know, there you know, were a lot of like, dark, dark no. moments. Well, you, you know, you've never <laughs> been hired for anything. And, no. He's going to, I want you to list them out. Yeah. yeah. Right now. Well, no, it's funny. I'm doing Radio City it. this week and I literally still have an audition. Yeah. My agent called me. She's like, I need you to put yourself on tape. So my buddy Ray, who's here, literally brought his ring light and his tripod. So we're going to go back to the hotel after this and well, do a fucking audition. always travel yeah, yeah, they always stage do. of Radio City. Be like, here's my fucking audition. Honestly, with all I have a people. spray tan appointment at 2 p.m. and yeah. I kind of think I'm just going to do the audition while I'm getting spray tan and be yes. like, I, and it's not that I'm above it, but I'm dying for the day that I don't have to audition anymore. That what's they're the, handing the me offers. Uh, it's, oh, should I pick it, it up? No. Oh, sorry. Pick, who is it? It's my father. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, answer. yeah, I'm we should talk to your father. Hold on. He's just. Hello? Hold on. What if he's like your mother's dead? What should I What happened? I said I have someone to go. What's. For Sunday, should I say two o'clock or what time you want her? The, for the wait, for the help? Yeah. I want her, I, uh, yeah, because guests are arriving at three, so I want them her at least by two. So maybe like one thirty or 2, because I need help setting up. All right, one thirty, I'll say. All right, thank you. All right, bye. Bye. It's it's a waitress for Father's Day for my house. <laughs> oh, sorry, you were you were saying you don't want to you don't want to audition. You're gonna have a spray tan. You just, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just and it's not. It, God keeps you humble, right? Like right. I'm like stay humble, stay humble. But there are days where you're just like, what are we doing? You know yeah. what I mean? This isn't for like an Oscar movie. This right. is for yeah. like some sort of rom com <laughs> that's being shot in like Myrtle Beach this summer. Like right. just give me the part. Do you have okay? time? Do you have time to focus on auditioning? Because every time I see you on screen, I literally scream <laughs> um, because you know I, I love you and you're my friend. But it's like also because you're like the most entertaining person in the world. So every time. I know anytime I'm going to be on screen, I'm going to love it. So like when I saw you and like, you know, and all the films that you've done. Yeah. Um, that one so movie, exciting. one Christmas movie called no, Love Hard. Say, I, 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 <laughs> could you, could you was, name one, Joe? Yes. She starred in a I'm Netflix kidding, movie. Kidding, no, I was in the first eight minutes of it and re really Nina Debrev was starring in it and they yeah, they really pulled her. a fast one on you because they put me in the full trailer yeah. and then I'm well, in they the- They used you for clickbait. They used me for clickbait yeah. and they got, we were number one on Netflix for quite some time and then all, everybody was like, you were only in the first eight minutes and I said, yeah, I see yeah. what they did there. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's all bait <laughs> But she's a star. Yeah. But you still have time to like focus on auditioning. Do you want to say, doing films and movies or do you think yeah, it's a, it's the greatest love of my life. I mean, yeah. com here, I got to be honest with you, though. Stand up is so great because I can control. I don't have to wait on anybody. I don't have to go through rounds of like talking to executive producers and hand jobs. I can literally get up on stage, write, say whatever, write my own shit. There's I've no always notes. Yeah, 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 no notes. Well, my mother will have notes. My mom yeah. will be backstage. Like, they always do. They the always good one, do. The good ones do. The good ones always do. Um, but no, I just basically do whatever the hell I want. So yeah. for me, it's like you do these auditions. And here's the thing. My husband used to get so like disheartened for me. And he was like, he's in New York. He's like, I just wish they'd fucking call you and be like, that sucked or we're go somebody yeah. else got the role. Yeah. You just never hear. Yeah. And then the movie That's eventually comes out and then you're like, well, fuck me. Yeah, yeah. of course, you know, uh, I don't know, Selma Hayek was going to get the role. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a, you know, a, uh, uh, you know, voluptuous Latina woman. Like, of course, why but did you send me in for it? You're the level of celebrity where you're under though. the yes men things. Everyone, you're a level, you're high of enough of a celebrity. Everyone wants to be pleased or people are afraid to let you down or say things to you. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can, so I think you're like, they yeah, kind of, they don't want you to like to be upset because you're like such a big talent. Well, I really about? love you and you're you're just really making you're gassing me up and yes. I feel so good about myself. I'm a really big talent. Um, yeah. It's what we do. Yeah, right here. I love it. And she's also co-host of Today's show. Yes. Hoder. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And Jenna and they're wild gals and like I literally the coolest bitches you'll ever meet. And that's no disrespect to me calling them bitches. They're yeah. like one of us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Hoda and Jenna are just rad. And the whole team of the Today Show is rad. They're very cool behind the scenes. Who's the Hoda and who's the Jenna here between the Oh, me. you're the Jenna. Obviously yeah, the yeah. Jenna. The, you're you're the Hoda. Sure the Jenna. I'm for yeah. sure the Hoda. Yeah, a little yeah. bit more. She has a college degree. Yes, you have a college <laughs> degree. <laughs> a little more refined. I'm on the street. Yes. And your father was the president. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> of the country club. Yeah, and Bush yeah. runs in my family, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, girl. Um, do you think you would ever, I mean, I think there's so, for you, there's so many options right now. Um, as far as career was, you can do the acting. And do you think you're going to be able to juggle it all? Like you're, right now, you're not ready to take the full chair at the Today Show. You want to be able to travel Have, to your do thing. Want no, you I don't. Do I that? don't think she I'd ever want to be. She wants. She's she's got the Hollywood by her by the balls yeah. right now. <laughs> you're so sweet. Radio City, Heather. It's Radio like, it's, City. I know it's crazy. It's, it's wild. Like you have the, everything at your disposal right now. Like it's you're in charge. But again, I'm still going. And you're setting the tone. We're tra- we had a yeah. bunch of the uh, uh, the gals around um, this week. We had Hannah Burner on. Um, we love had, her. We yeah. had. Um, Taylor Stecker. Taylor oh, the best. Man, all yeah. The girls on. All the girls. I'm just saying, we were speaking of you and saying she is, she is our, um, my, not mine. She's our, we're she's, saying how there's, le- there's she's levels like leading the this. pack right now. You are our, um, so sweet. Underground Railroad right now. Like you're like, you're, what's Mess? my, what's her name? Her Harriet the Harriet Tubman, Tubman. You're, 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 you're the Harriet <laughs> Tubman of comedy. You are Harriet Tubman. Literally, you're saying the stone, you're breaking you the molds You have done more us. than Harriet Tubman has done. You're breaking yeah. the molds. You're our Can't Harriet Tubman. Can't wait for just that yeah. one yeah. little bit to come out. You are. And then you're, it's all crumbles because no, people are like, no, white woman, like, Heather McMahon. No, so she's a Harriet Tubman of comedy. No, but you are leading the way for all of us. Yeah. You're leading the way for all of us. And you have your hands in literally everything and you're succeeding in like breaking molds, showing us that we can do this if we want. If you could put our, put our, and, uh, heads to it and you're just kind of like giving us all hope and kind of like paving the way for us in all different assets of, of, of Hollywood and it's we're thankful well I I really <laughs> love you and you're giving me so much hope and joy in my life yeah. because there are days where I am literally sitting at like you know at a Chili's in yeah. the Cleveland airport after I've done at your waitress like, station yeah but waitress <laughs> station <laughs> on break yeah I'm on break yeah. Up here. I'm in the hutch and I'm sweating <laughs> and I'm like am I ever gonna make it she's doing side work she's refilling the ketchups with that uh, and he <laughs> says I want an extra diet coke I said honey we don't have Diet Coke. No, we, we, we have, have Pepsi. Pepsi products. And that's when they they punch me in the twat and I say, I deserve that. I deserve that. You know what's crazy? One of my first that's restaurant my jobs hunch ever is the funniest thing ever. Is like was around the corner. I, I worked at this place called Stout, which is across from Madison Square Garden. That was my first. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's yeah. Still Stout. Around. Yep, that Stout was, is still around. Stout is, yeah. oh, they, they've expanded. Are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah, I the Stout like Empire? Like a, that's that's like a roof fucked now. up when you missed your train back to Long Island. Exactly. You sit there and get fucking mucked. And I used to serve chicken Billings tenders. Bar. Uh huh. And before like a Rangers game, it was like full throttle. And that's where I started my um, New York City career back in 2009, uh, slinging drinks. Now, if I'm saying it or not, I know that you do. You both worked at Soul Cycle together. Yes. And so- they used to eat chips behind the counter. And they got in trouble for eating Doritos <laughs> while checking people. Tell us some stories about Soul Cycle with you two. You and your yeah. So I met my best friend Ray is here. He opens for me at the show. He's a, also an amazing talent. Um, a thespian as well. Thespian. Yes. Thespian and out. lesbian. For oh, sure a lesbian. A drip god as well. You guys are dressed like. Oh, you're just so, rich. you're just so fucking cool. We're oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Heather's rich. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> money buys money. Money. There's something very cool. But living below rich. our means, because remember, the day that you live outside of your means, you get audited by the IRS. Oh God, <laughs> never that forget. Is terrifying. Yeah. I'm it's terrified by it. What was the question? Soul Cycle. Soul Cycle. Yes. You two are behind the counter eating Doritos. Yes. So we used to get in trouble all the time. The front desk. We were always hung over at Soul Cycle and we worked at the peak <laughs> of Soul Cycle, pinnacle Soul Cycle days in like Hollywood. What was it? 2013, 2015? 13 to 15. They, 13 light, to 15. they light the diptyque on, in front before the instructor hopped on Did the bike. Did they? And they had the orchid. Yes. And, yes. You know, yeah. Never, no, I've never been. <laughs> You've been to a class? Yes. I went to one and I got off the bike and I fell over because my legs were so dead. I couldn't walk. Yeah. And then you also like turned blue and like, you know, yeah, it was out. too yeah. much. Yeah. The working blood sugar was a lot. Yeah. So we worked there and we were the two only, I'd say, full figured plus size gals. And we would get in trouble all the time because we were constantly hung over. Yeah. <laughs> constantly hung over. And we would be at the front desk, like eating a Chipotle burrito bowl. And they'd be like, hey, Oprah and Madonna are coming in to take a class. Can you not embarrass? Yeah. You know, embarrass yeah. us? Put away and your, your, uh, your foot long. Put away your shame put away your shame <laughs> yeah. yes put away your chicken roll yep and sometimes they would just put us in the class like and we had such great personalities like people loved us and we were smart because we worked the system so we would become friends with all the celebrities and then i'd be like hand them my business card literally I had a business card working yeah. at soul cycle and i'd be like listen if you really want to get off the wait list call me yeah. and so i had all these celebrities <laughs> numbers and nowadays people like will run into them they're like oh my god i can't believe it you're doing shit i remember you used to like get me off the wait yeah. list to you, get into these you classes still get me the class oh yeah, yeah. 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 exactly we yeah. won't be going 
Oh yeah. my God. Help. But How everybody does, who is cunts, don't worry. I have, com- I, I have it like burned in the back of my memory. And one day I will run into some of these people and I will tell them at the Oscars, the Emmys, the Vanity Fair after party, you uh, were a cunt and you threw your soul cycles to choose at me yeah. in my face and I'll never forget it. Yeah. Suck what my dick. Cash. All right, guys, listen up. It is summertime, which means we are drinking. We are hanging out by the pool. We're having a fun time. And sometimes you have a little bit too much fun, which means you wake up feeling like crap. More labs can help with that. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't drink as much as I did in college without feeling like shit. Even after just a few drinks, you feel like crap for days. And in a world where we got a million things to do, you got to get up, you got to be productive. You can't afford to miss a day, which is why More Labs created this nifty lifesaver of a drink called Morning Recovery that helps prevent rough mornings after drinking. That's right. Similar drinks have existed in Korea for a long time, but now there was, there was no options like this in the U.S. that worked. So uh, their founder quit his job at Tesla to fix that and create Morning Recovery. It's super simple. All you have to do is drink a morning recovery while you drink or before you go to bed. I like to do both. Mm. Um, it contains super herb, um, vitamins, minerals to help you bounce back and the proprietary blend of electrolytes to rehydrate you so you can have fun at night um, and feel good the next day. Feel like a real human like you did when you were 21 again. It's awesome. Here's the thing, guys. This stuff works. They conducted a clinical study of morning recovery users and they felt 80% better, up to 80% better than those who didn't use morning recovery across various symptoms of drinking. So if you want to not feel like crap after a long night out, right. check out More Labs and go to morelabs.com. That's morelabs.com and use code OUT for 25% off your first order of morning recovery. Guys, this is worth it. If you're getting old and you can't hang like you used to, make sure you check out More Labs Morning Recovery. Again, go to morelabs.com and use code OUT for 25% off. What was it like the first time you did stand up? Like, when did you make the jump? You're like, I'm fucking hilarious. I mm-hmm. don't need to be behind. Did you do that before you blew up on, on, um, online? Yes. So I started in stand up. So okay. actually, the first time I ever did stand up was actually at my prom. So I was 16 years old. No, someone stood you up at the prom. There was something <laughs> that was different here. No, actually, let's I wish. Let's just clear things up. <laughs> yeah, let's just clear things up. Um, I was a junior, and my the I, I the school asked me, that they were like, hey, do something funny at prom, right? Yeah. So I rose to the senior class. So I still have it on tape, and I was going through. Stop. Yeah, I, I, I literally found the DVD. It. The other day, actually, the material was fucking solid. I was like, for sixteen and going to a very like uber Christian school, the material was very solid. Oh my god! So I started then, and then as soon as I went, to, I, I studied theater in school, uh, got a you know BFA in acting, and then I moved up to New York and started doing stand up again. So I was like, what twenty three was doing stand up, and then I did UCB and did like improv and sketch. Oh, I thought yeah, I wanted yeah. to do SNL. That's always been the dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I just kept at it. Went out to LA, was doing that. I had a one woman show out there for a little bit, doing characters and all that shit, and then. And basically what happened was I blew up on Instagram. Margie Daniels. Yeah, Mar- yeah, Margie McDaniels, yes, um, who opens actually the show right now. Uh, I have a video of her uh, that we're going to play at Radio City. But basically, I just started doing characters. That's my real love. I yes. love, and that's why I love yes. acting. I love putting on a wig and getting nasty, and having seven chins. <laughs> you are. And just being, you yeah. are. Yeah, it's my favorite company. thing in the world. Speaking to the choir. Yeah. It's my favorite thing the in the world. The first, like, six months of our show is just us in character. Yeah. Southern women. <laughs> yeah. Fully. That was <laughs> fully what we did. Every yeah. day we'd come in, we'd just come in. She does a real estate agent, a Southern mm-hmm. real estate agent, which is the yeah. funniest oh. fucking thing. Rita Carlisle, Mississippi's number one real estate Agent. Uh-huh. <laughs> who was based off of basically like all my sorority sisters' moms who would show yeah. up to bid day in like full Chanel suits and then they were a just power like power pantsuit. Yeah, just a hot power pantsuit and they'd literally be handing out their business cards like, you know, I sell townhomes here in Oxford, Mississippi. And I was like, everything about that I'm fucking obsessed with because Southern women don't give a fuck. No. Right. And they will fuck you and God bless you to your face. Mm-hmm. And there's special whore. Bless your whore. I'm, you know oh, what? Bless your Joey, I'm going to pray for you, baby. I'm going to pray yeah. for you. That basically means oh, she's you're a fat fuck. You're, <laughs> she's touched. <laughs> no, you look beautiful. She's you know, touched. She's touched. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's touched. her clamp. Yeah. Um, oh my, there's so a new funny. chick, I think following in your footsteps a little bit. Um, she's a young girl. I hate her. Doing, Who is she? She's <laughs> on TikTok. She's, she has, she wears the, she wears the, the Karen hair to the visor. She's on the golf course of the country club. Oh, I know Becky Robinson. She she's killing it. I I'm love so her. proud of her. Be- Becky's amazing. She's you also a st- stand up icon. Have her on. Becky is yeah. one of the coolest chicks. She's actually a dear friend of mine. Yeah. So she, she is, is she's been paving it. her own way for a long time. Right. But she really dialed into this character, the entitled housewife and it's fucking brilliant. Yes. And it's just, I wanted the Demi Glaze. Yeah. This Peppercorn. It yeah. is so funny. She's I'll send it back. Now you, you're a country club girl yourself. I am. Yes, the Atlanta Athletic Club. Yeah. Shout out to them. <laughs> the Atlanta Athletic Club. Wave my dues. Wave my dues. Dad. 
What's that? Her, she has a rich dad dad. You I have a rich, rich dad dad. 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 Yeah. yeah. Oh. He was a good guy though. You know what yeah. I mean? It, what, I've been watching a lot of Succession trying <laughs> to get you. My mom said, yeah, we, 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 yeah. we bonded about we that. We bonded about this. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. they're friends in heaven. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure they are. Oh, I'm sure. They're talking yeah. shit being like, these two. Yeah. God help us all. They're checking the cholesterol. <laughs> do you want to yeah. contact her right now? Yeah. <laughs> Via Ouija? Let's <laughs> yeah. the Ouija board. Do you, did your mom ever visit you? Do you ever feel her presence? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't. I take you know. I take enough trazodone, so I'm not sure like what's what. Well, I'm his mother reincarnated. It's really. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. Him before I have oh, dreams. Yeah. Of, I have dreams of it, but I, like she never like I never see her. Like spook me, bitch. Dreams Come you yeah, spook me, bitch. Dreams yeah. you fucked what? No, I, like I, tr- I have like dreams of her, but I never see her. Like, she, oh she, yeah, she's never like yeah. in the room or she's nothing not like knocking. Her. My father, my father is like any anything that happened. Like, that water bottle's half empty. Do you see that? I was it was three quarters away the other day. I swear I didn't touch it. It's your mother. She's drinking it. Yeah, yeah. everything no. is like that. My, my dad will be like that a bird will come up. She'll go. And what happens? How would I know? Yeah. What should I be looking for? What sign? I don't know. I think you need to ask. You're your like mother. a 280 pound man. Yeah, yeah, man yeah, yeah exactly. Room. Well, I love like um, every. I've been on tour and like I feel like everywhere I go, I'm just following Teresa Caputo. Yeah. So everywhere I go, they're literally like the Long Island Medium was just doing a show for ten thousand people in this theater and I'm like who the fuck is coming to these shows yeah. also God bless her yeah. and so I'm dying to meet her but no my dad visits me all the time I do have this weird th- and this is funny too when like the light just went on. you see that what the light, yeah, the light went on. oh I believe that's it. a sign I believe it I believe it I believe it that's a sign I totally believe it my dad comes back as a yellow jacket or a bumblebee I will say Ooh. he's always around me there's bees around me all the time wow. so that's a beautiful well, flies around me sister <laughs> and, the and, they're below the, and they're below the belt below okay. the belt <laughs> Wait, um, that's the rotting chlamydia. Yeah. Just a rotting. That's that bussy <laughs> hasn't been hosed down in about a month. How is your bussy? Oh, it's you know, it's fabulous. It's uh, Good. I got a new razor. I was just shaving it at the desk. You go, Joan show. Rivers. It's you fabulous, mean, darling. Yeah, it's fabulous. fabulous. Wait, what was my, my segue about the dead people? Bussy. Yeah, <laughs> we can go back. to How bussy. did my father trigger your bussy? Yeah, I don't remember what it was. Oh, oh yeah, it's Robin. And now has Robin ever? dated or tried to date and how are you and your sister like hell no like what is your stance on it happening no. see my I Robin is your it. sister no Robin's my mom Robin's Ash Robin's is my sister Ash, Ash, we let, still got a Georgia Law lady yes. find one of her mother or no I just need it's very important for me to like yeah, visualize find a photo of someone us. in order Can to kind of off? connect I'm sweating I'm literally oh here sweating. we are there she is at top she is, top left oh yes. stop now she looks like Reba yo yeah. uh, okay Judge Judy my mom is Judge Judy oh yeah oh how fabulous yeah Oh my God, How she's adorable. Fabulous. She's 75, has a hotter body than anybody. Oh, yeah, wait, go down and check on that photo. Did you see the, us in the blue and the orange suits? I was down just going to say that. They that were dumb ass. the other day. Like, she's fucking snazzy. Robin's she, a bad bitch. Does she date at all? That's so, what I mean. Yeah, I'm not Robin, ready for Poppy to date. Ro- Robin, I, I'm it's encouraging it. If my mom had died before, I would tell my father, you will be, you'll be, a, a, cut off your dick. Like, yeah, it's never happening. Never again. happening. But for my mom, I, she's so young and vibrant, and she was 11 years older than my late father. So for me, I'm like, oh, she, she was older than that. older. She was an original she's a cougar. cougar. Original cougar. That's where you mm-hmm. get it from. Yes, exactly. So I'm. I told her. I said I want you to date. But it is. It is dire for women out there. It's dire yeah. for women. Period. But when I say that the the men as they get older, like the men in her, she she lied and said she's only sixty five on Bumble. What's her What's her What's her, <laughs> what's her real age? Her seventy five. Yeah. And but so she's she, on she went ten years. She's on the apps. To find she's on guys. the apps. But she, but also she doesn't want a guy because she wants a younger guy because the guys who are seventy five are in a wheelchair don't have their shit you together. Want who can get hard? Who can fuck? Yes. Can oh my god. Yeah. No, but she. I mean, it's true. It's true. She said she's ready to have a good time. She's like, I'm not dead yet. That's remarkable. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Listen, Robin has the perkiest tits you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. I die for her titties. I'm a real? southern boy. So. Oh yeah, they're yeah. real. <laughs> southern You're a southern boy. Where are you from? Uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. Shreveport, yeah. wild. I, town. I went to LSU. Oh, you yeah. went to LSU. Go yeah. Tigers. Yeah, let's go. go I love that. Yeah, I love Thank Oxford. I love, Oxford. I love, I love Oxford with all my heart. Great. I yeah. love. Well, Baton Rouge is the seventh layer of hell, but in a good way. It is. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's it's why you'll get stabbed in Baton Rouge and also oh, yeah. eat crawfish and just like have the best weekend of your life. Yeah, in like in two that seconds. Order. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get stabbed with a crawfish. Yes, you will. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for my father to date. I mean, I guess, I guess, I think, I think that she said she's seventy. I think at the seven, at a seventy year birthday, maybe then I'll start feeling bad for him and like wanting yeah. him to like have a, a companion. Um, but it's just like I, I feel like I'm a jealous boyfriend. It's like don't come near my man. Like I that, hear you. But he's not trying to fuck. I feel like your dad's Why wouldn't he? Fuck. Yes, he yeah, is. I found is he? Yes, he is. You know, how old's your father? 66. Oh, he's younger than oh I thought. Oh my God. Was. Yeah, that's fucked. That he's jerking fucking off weird. every day. I love you, but he is. So your mother's on the apps. She changed her age. Has she had any luck finding people? No, and she- She also changed her gender, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, she did. She did. She's called my Rob. She's called my Rob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, if my mom transitioned, she'd be the most petite, slender man. She would be a party bottom. She'd be a twink. <laughs> She'd be demon. My mom would be 
would be a twink. Oh, she'd be, she'd be an twink. artsy twink. Um, yes, she she loves Liza Minnelli. She'd be a Broadway artsy twink. And a Broadway honestly, queen. maybe we should explore this journey for her. <laughs> well, we give out gender uh, reassignment surgeries on the show, but you usually have to be under 12 to get them here. We're like Harry Stryker. Oh, we, we should give that breast we implants. We give, out gender. We, give, we give uh, facial feminization surgeries yeah. out. Can I be honest with you? I would have been a very, I take very much so after my father, but I would have been a really hot guy. I just know it. Because yeah, yeah. I already have very broad shoulders. I already, you know, lean yeah. towards a more masculine athletic. frame, athletic. Yeah. Yeah. So I know she that. She can take a hit. Oh, she, she swears, can, swears she, like a sailor. A hit. <laughs> swears like a sailor. Can, she can take it, lick it and keep on taking mm-hmm. yeah. Wolf down a bacon, egg oh. and cheese and fuck you all night. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah. my God. Now she will carbo load. Are we yeah. going to play yeah. sessions with Heather? Do we have time to do that? Yeah, I think so. I want to hear a little more about your, we, I keep getting distracted. Your mother's dating or she's not dating? Oh yeah. So she went on one date with a friend's father and I think, you know, like she's on the apps because yeah. she wants to like look and be entertained, yeah. but it's dire. It is so bad out there. Oh. So we set her up with a friend's dad and then he, they went to lunch and only, God bless him, he just talked about his dead wife. And my mom's like, my mom had a <laughs> yeah. great relationship with my dad. That's the thing. They yeah. had a really wonderful love. Yeah. And so I'm one of those kids who like lost their dad too soon. A lot yeah. of women, girls hate their fathers and I really How loved mine. You? Um, it was almost eight years ago so in my late 20s yeah um so now i'm at this point where i'm just like my mom's had the love of her life she wants she needs a man in like you know west palm who's got a yacht who wants to stick her down and feed her caviar you know what i mean (laughs) yeah Yeah. and she says she requires because my dad had a plane but he had a king air a sensible king air yes not a jet how was your dad so rich you know but a king air is not actually that rich that's under a mill okay Okay. yeah 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 Yeah. that's sensible that's a sensible did you all fit in it like the the whole squad could go like the whole squad could go he was an Entrepreneur, your father? Yes, he okay. basically was in the mortgage biz, and essentially he got he, out right before 08 hit. No, he he did, and he saw yeah. the writing on the wall, and he told everybody that they were doing illegal, weird, wow. shady shit, and he was the only like no guy kidding. who had ethics in that biz. Yeah, I don't wow. know what that means. What I don't either. Honestly, I don't either. <laughs> what happened to the 08? movie? The Big Short was written after. Him. Yes. Oh. Um, what happened in 08? Yeah, <laughs> I, what happened fucking, in 08? I love it. I was on study what abroad and I got a phone 08? call. My dad the was like, you cannot trap. The house, I didn't know what I didn't the know housing what the crisis was in 08. I was taking body shots. You know, the economy, I don't That's know, strippers. huh? The only reason I know is because when I studied abroad, I, I remember my ATM card didn't work, my debit card. And I was somewhere in like the south of France. And my dad's like, yeah, because you have no money. We're done. You know what I mean? Like, we're done. We're cooks, baby. Sell yeah, the plane. Exactly. Uh, well, I hope she that. finds the love of her life. I'm thinking if there's anyone here we could set her up with, maybe a Billy football Maybe a Chef Donnie. Chef Donnie slept with an older woman. He told me about it in her 60s. Well, he was 24. Well, that works, she right? She's a Southern, does she want a Southern man? No, she doesn't need a Southern man, but she likes, I mean. She doesn't want a New York. Click on that black and white photo down there. That's my dad. Look how handsome. I there mean, rest in peace. Yes. But like, handsome gentleman. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Your father, yeah. I've Kyle seen McMahon. him. I've yeah, seen, Kyle you know McMahon. Who, you know who your father looks like? And I yeah. mean this in no disrespect at all. Who? I've been watching uh, the Housewives reunions. Uh-huh. Bo Deedle. So does he not look like Bo Deedle a I little bit? I looked at Bo Deedle the other day because I wanted to see if he was single. I did too. He's not. He's not single. Bo's Who's married. Bo yes. He's like the private. Marty, if you pull up Bo Deedle, I could they be wrong. They look just here. alike. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yeah. You, you don't it? take offense to B-O- that. I know. He's, he's a retired D-E-R. NYPD yeah, right there, right there. detective turned like the private oh, eye ever. No, that's Bo Derek. Oh. You had very <laughs> similar. D-E-I-T-E-L. Uh, D I I think yeah D E E there he is there he American is, detective a little bit right? go down look at that in the blue that, yes. that's my father okay. that's your father now that, that's and my dad could get very tan that yeah, is he, literally he likes my dad right? mm-hmm. I see it so I looked it up to see if he was single because I was like oh my god mom this is your type he is not single and I'm very <laughs> upset about it well he could play your father in your, in, in your, um, in your movie he could who would play you in a movie uh, me, fuck yeah, everybody else. Your well, I would say Anna Nicole Smith, but rest in peace. Oh, yeah. I was very upset. Actually, that's an acting gig that I missed out on when oh, they did the did TLC it? or the Lifetime movie. <laughs> I don't remember. Right? I don't think I've seen, seen her in a minute. You should see the Netflix doc they just did on her. Awesome. Wait, on Anna Nicole oh, Smith. Yes. Oh, yes. I haven't oh, seen it yet. Awesome. Yeah. I love her. People come up to me, old older gentlemen all the time, like, Anna Nicole, is that you? And I'm like, <laughs> yes, yes, it is I. It's yes. me. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing upset. my ring. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love her. I'm worried about her. You know, I just want to check in with the fam. I want to see how her yes. kids are doing. Well, her son, unfortunately. What was the husband's name? Um, well, she had, the, remember, the man, the, her boyfriend. Um, You're what? not talking about the old guy. No, the guy. Jay that, Howard Marshall? No, yeah. no, the boyfriend <laughs> that was raising her kid. Well, that's actually, there was Howard. Yes. Oh, uh, Google the. There was a guy Howard, and then she had the other guy who's actually Danny Lynn's. Danny Lynn. D- Danny Lynn's father. Yeah. And I can't remember his name. There's one who was like the uh, the baby daddy, and one who was yes, yeah. the lawyer and uh, the photographer. Jay Howard. Okay. I love Jay Howard Marshall. Mm-hmm. May he rest in power. Oh, there's our there's our gal. Where's oh. personal life? It's hard to see from over here. 
Either way, all you need to know is just Google yeah. we miss her. But yeah. Anna, yeah. if you hear this, blink the lights twice if you can hear us. <laughs> Are they dimming? What if like the whole set comes <laughs> crashing down? Like like you fucking whore. It's a sign. It is. Um, quick break from our interview with Heather McMahon to talk to you guys about bare bottom clothing. You know them. You love them. We know them. We love them. Bare bottom is one of the most popular clothing brands at Barstool. Their gear is the go-to at the office, at home, and especially when you're traveling. They're known for their insanely comfortable stretch shorts and joggers. Bare bottom is dropping all new styles all summer long. They're built for adventure with innovative features like stretch fabric, which mm-hmm. I need because I'm a little thick around the waist, moisture wicking, and, a- and antimicrobial tech plus durability that lasts wear after wear. Most of the Shorts and swimsuits come to 5.5 and a seven inch inseam. Seven inch inseam. So you can't like say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven inch inseam, but mm-hmm. I like 5.5 because I like to show my legs off. Well, you got beautiful um, legs. With tons of colors, so you can customize the best style for you. And they're sold exclusively through their site. So you're going to write to the source for premium quality shorts and tees for much less than the big legacy brands. Now, I got Poppy this for, uh, for Father's Day. He looks so hot. I got him this father. I like on the swimsuit. Smash. Um, which are so great. They have a four way stretch to them. Literally, swimsuits. If they don't stretch, I'm not putting them on. First of all, when you're wet, the last thing you want to feel is restricted in a bathing suit. When you get out of the pool, like you can't lift your leg. That you suction, fella, is not good. No, the four way stretch on them literally makes them so comfortable. I can do squats. I could pop, lock, and squat it. Okay. And those, and I've been wearing their shorts religiously since I found out about this company years ago. Literally, they're um, they're just uh, classic chino shorts. They have a nice elastic waist with the button closure. You can put a belt on with them. Yep. They are so cozy. They go with everything. You dress them up with a little the button down and put some some fancy boat shoes on. Go to the country club, or you can just wear them with a t shirt around the park, shooting it around with your friends. It's like literally the best thing ever. And they're active shorts. You can go from swimming to um, like you jump in the pool. To dry get, land. Then you go to dry land. Then you wear those out oh. to, to dinner for the bar. It's like the most, rever- um, most um, what's it called? The versatile. It's versatile clothing brand. I love Here's it. Here's the thing. It's very tough to buy for the men in your life. Bare Bottom makes it easy. Go to the store. Check it out. We're going to give you free shipping. Go to barebottomclothing.com slash out. That's free shipping. They have everything on there. Buy something nice for the guys in your life. Barebottom.com. Uh, barebottomclothing.com slash out for free shipping. Now back to the show. Um, so now, so Radio City is your Sa- big show. It's my big show. Saturday. You're doing, you're doing, are, you, are you selling out? Uh, I think so. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Gonna, it's gonna. yeah. I mean, it, we're, we're very close. So Did you change your material specifically for this or is it the same kind of thing you've been doing or like what, what are you preparing? Are you preparing differently for this show then? Um, show? Well, we have a little surprise at the top of the show. I'm going to come out in a very glamorous radio city way. So when you perform at radio city, you can kind of use all the elements and the tricks and the gadgets that they have there. The side door, the side thing. Oh, all can of we it. Be your oh my God. Well, yes, you have the long legs for it. Absolutely. I do have the long legs. Um, I was a dance minor. So, you know, I have a high kick. So we're going to come out. I have tickets. You do. You're going to see. You're going to see. It's going to be exciting. You say it's enormous. Your kick. <laughs> no, her, her oh. kick's enormous. Yeah, yeah, I have a very high kick. If I wasn't in a squirt and my labia wasn't loose, I would absolutely <laughs> kick yeah. it up for you. And I threw out my back two weeks ago, so I'm having to sit with very good posture. And she have a flip disc. She's yeah. a cortisone shot before she goes on. No, literally, I had a cortisone shot. I was on, face down, ass up about two weeks ago, and I was like, I can't make my sh- make it to my shows in Boston. And an orthopedist gave me six shots in my back, and that's why I'm just kind of walking Oof. around on muscle relaxers. Yeah. Oh my well, god. If you have yeah. Any extras? Yeah. Oh, I have. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> Psycho Blinzaprine, I have plenty. Don't worry. <laughs> That's yeah. exciting to know that, that you can use everything at Radio City. Because if you've seen this, I was just at the Christmas Spectacular recently. They have these like little side doors, peekaboo doors that people can pop yeah. out of. Yeah. Um, what about any, any and the camels? So they they basically the camels from did you uh, did the rockets yes. that they have the camels this year? Yeah. So I'm also using the camels. No, they're just there. Not. They're just there. They're just hanging out backstage. So you're riding yeah, out on a camel. <laughs> yeah, is that for anyone that uses the stage, or that you just went in and they loved you? And what they, is that for anyone that uses the stage? They like, choose all the doors and all the stuff, or any or they like you? I think anybody. I mean, I have a great relationship with the people who run it. You yeah. know, but I I haven't asked for too much. But it's going to be. F- Fantastic, but I'm also like had I've had diarrhea for like two weeks really? because like oh, the so idea lucky. that that like this uh, is happening is just insane. Are you going to medicate beforehand? No, absolutely not. I don't drink don't or drink. T- I don't take anything before the shows. I'm yeah. a I'm a theater professional. Yeah. Everyone's saying that we're <laughs> after we're, we're yeah. doing, we've been doing live shows for about a year now, and that we've learned that like it's better to not drink at all, yeah. like or maybe like bring a glass of wine on stage. <laughs> yeah, have a glass of wine you just sip. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't drink. You don't said not drink at all. No, I say we. I start with a wine on stage. I don't get like mucks before the show. No, we go on the show so. Over, but then like halfway through we get fucked right. during this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nana takes two bottles of Pinot just to warm up. Yeah. yeah. So I'll try and catch mm-hmm. up with you that way. Mm-hmm. I have but to how now. did it come about like Radio City? Was this something on your radar or was your agent just like, she's hey, big we, talent. we can big do up. this? Like, 
talent. I'm literally going to start using that She's as an alias when talent. I check into hotels. Yes, I'm big talent. That yeah. is big talent. Checking in. Checking in big talent. Big star. Hollywood star. Uh, that's, a good, that's a good special name. That is. That big is. talent. Hollywood star. I think this next special is going to be called Breadwinner, but I don't know. We're working I on it. I love that. Yeah. But no, how it became about is last time I played the same amount of people um, had three sold out shows in New York. And so they were like, well, that's the same amount of people that fit in Radio City. So let's fucking do, go. Do one big one. Yeah. That's and it's, awesome. it's been amazing. And I mean, I played the Chicago theater, sold that out. And yeah. I, that's not like a, uh, like, look at that, but it's just, that yeah, is that's like what we need. The size we need. That's the size we need, darling. That's yeah. the size we need. <laughs> I mean, it's honestly, I can't believe it. And I really had like an outer body moment, like not to be emo, but how many people have shown up for me yeah. and that, and I feel like I can never repay people and say thank you enough, but I'm just, I love what I do. The show's so ridiculous. Yeah. The whole show right now, like this tour is all about um, my first year marriage, the honeymoon, the wedding in Italy, like everything that went wrong. And it's like how COVID <laughs> fucked your wedding up three times. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh and, and just how, you know, when, when you do become married and you sit on that couch one day, Day and your husband's just ripping ass watching Sports Center. You, as a 36 year old, you know, money making, breadwinning woman, just say, How the fuck did I get here? Yeah. That's what it's about. I've made it. I finally yeah. made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does your husband work? Um, golf. debatable. Yeah, he golf. It's debatable. It's He's, still up in the air. No, Good my husband him. supported us for a really long time. And our kind of deal was when he left New York, because he had a very niche business here in New York, I said, okay. He was in the mob. Yeah, he was in he the was mob. hundred percent. Yes. He was in waste management. Yeah, he was. Sure was. Yeah. Um, I said, no, you can have a little time off while I'm on the road and stuff. But yeah. now that 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 Sand, the sand has run out of that yeah. hourglass and I'm like, get a fucking get out But it feels good. Do you, ever, do you ever just kind of throw a stack of money at him after sex and like, go get yourself something nice? <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Every time. That's that's I place, so. kid. Yep. Yep. I, <laughs> yes. That's hundred percent what I do. And, um, it's, you know, uh, he's, he's now, I guess, running the business, the business yeah. that is oh, good. absolutely not productions. That is the empire of all this. Good. You know what I mean? But I, again, you know, sleep with one eye open. It's, um, Ken's, <laughs> is, I think it's Ken. Was he still doing your tour? Uh, Chris Kenner. Chris Kenner. Yeah. So he produces the live show. Oh, yes. good, 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 good. Yeah. He's awesome. very nice. Yeah. Very su big sweetheart. Yeah. You met him at the Points yeah. Awards. Points Awards. We're yeah. What are the Points Awards? You talked about the this The Points Guy Awards. It's, it's uh, like Brian the Kelly. the Guy, the guy who yeah. does the yes. credit cards and stuff. Yes. Okay. So we had an so award show basically to like celebrate everybody who knows how to use their credit card yes. properly. And I don't <laughs> know what I'm doing. That's, that's why we weren't invited. Carly Rae Jepsen <laughs> was performing, but he oh, really? gets bigger every year. But that's I was so excited to go this year. She was at my table last year and she also emceed. Um, but I wasn't invited oh, wow. this year, so I was a little perturbed. But I, I think I'll, I'll get back up there. No, we'll get back up good there. I didn't get to go this sure. year. I, didn't go either. I was on the road. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly. I, go. <laughs> I was like traveling. Listen, you had to you had to powder that bussy. You know. know what I mean? And I some know. days you need a night off. I have things to do. We don't say no enough. And we need to start saying no some days. Get a diptyque uh, sample, 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 sample to get to. To get to. To get to. Um, so other than Radio City, you're just going to stick on the road all fall. All the, 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 the yeah. comeback tour is coming back. The comeback tour is back. The comeback or the farewell tour? No, the first tour was the farewell tour. She never thought she'd be able to do it again. So she goes, I'm never going <laughs> to yeah, do it again. Yeah, I almost like John. Yeah, the yeah. agents got real greedy at the first one. They're like, yeah. let's do a theater tour. And you're going to do six shows a night. And I was basically, and I yeah. never even had an opener. And I bring Ray to open because I I was always doing too much. And my shows yeah. are like, I'm I'm giving you your money's worth. Right. tomorrow? Yes. What do you like, 90 minutes of a big theater show? Yeah. And so we're doing 90 minutes and an opener. So like pee beforehand, come fed. You know what I mean? Do you want me to make sure they put your name on the marquee as well over her name? Before first I mean, billing? Like, you know, first billing. And do people get. Yes. <laughs> you come out in a wig? <laughs> no, Hello? alone shows up. She comes. Oh, I, trust and believe. There are only gays in my camp right now. And I know one day when they're the like. The marbles are going to fall. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When they're like, you, you, you're moving a little slow. You can't sell out like you used to. I will be pushed down like a flight of stairs. Like hacks. hundred percent. Hacks you know, my, is my life. I know. It is fucking terrifying. It is my life. And I look back and I'm like. Jean's smart. Dear. She's fabulous. Have you fabulous. Seen this? Have you, oh, hacks. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great Hacking. show. Yeah. The gays love you, but they'll drop you like a bad habit. Oh, well, If you they. cross them. Yeah. Yep. And if you, and if you don't, if you quit making money for them one day, they will put you down a flight of stairs. So is your management team gay? Um, no, it's all women. So my, uh, my whole team is women. And then everybody who's, how many my Jews do you have in your team? How many Jews? I would hope. I would uh, we, majority. Have two, we, we have at least two Jews. <laughs> okay. Um, That's the real Hollywood. Yeah, that is the real Hollywood. <laughs> you, know, you know you made it when you're agent, manager, and lawyer, Kanye, all Jews. Easy yeah. Kanye. Well, you know what's funny, so. though? My my touring agent, who, shout out to Jackie, she's a big deal. She lives in Nebraska on a farm. Oh. Wow. Yeah, and she met a farmer, and she literally has, like, the uh. most Wi-Fi in the state of Nebraska <laughs> because she represents all these big comedians, and she's just sitting on her farm oh. in Nebraska fucking calling Radio City and Send wheeling my and dealing. Yeah, I gotta absolutely. go hustle the corn. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. that's the dream. Move out of the city and just leave it all behind. Yeah, right? that's yeah. what I want. We're on our way out. Yeah, we're we gonna go. We're gonna I, go. I, I are you retiring? Go. When are I, we, I when are we upstate New York? Upstate New York. Yeah. I look like in the. I like you, what are you gonna be in the? 
Fucking Catskills or some shit? You're not, Valley. Valley. you're not a lesbian. You're not no, yeah, you're not. Cat you're not skills. granola. We're the most New York City guy I've ever We got offered to go to Chicago and I like entertained it because half the company's going there. Yeah. He looks like I asked him to shoot his father in the head when I asked him to leave the city. I would love Chicago. You are never the I love Chicago. Chicago is nice, but it's cold. It is very, it is very cold. It's good restaurants. Good food, though. Great restaurants. Great restaurants. That it's by the water that you can only stand by like one week a year. Keep going. What else is good in Chicago? Sailboat. Sailboat. They dye the river green once a year. Which is fine. They, they have Chirac. The What's architect. Chirac? That's the scary part. There's the south yeah. side where if you want to like feel well, alive, I've you get down there. Before. And, yeah. I, so I know, that's what you I couldn't know go Chicago. there in an All Saints um, silk shirt. And no, 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 south side. Also, I feel yeah. like some of your tattoos might be a little gang conflicting. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. You do have Mr. P? I don't yeah. know. I yeah. don't yeah. know if that's going to fly in Chicago. a Master P. Yeah. yeah. And then we could be Then it would fly. Um, you always have great taste in restaurants. What's the restaurant you used to go to in Atlanta all the time, the Italian place? Oh, Storico um, Fresco. Storico Alan, Fresco, you still yeah. go? Oh, absolutely. Alan and they Tari. open a new place, Yepa, which is amazing. What about yeah. New York? What's the, are you still going to that same place down in uh, Tribeca? Ma in Max's, yeah, 134 Max's. West Broadway. What's it called? Ma Max's. It's Max's. your favorite Italian What kind spot? of food? Italian? It's, it's a phenomenal. Like, I've been going there I'm since- I'm actually going to write it down. Right, yeah, Max's, 134 yeah. West Broadway. No, she knows good food. She I knows do. good drink. And I know, always know the address. Like, I'm not like the cross streets are, Greenwich and Six or whatever. I'm always like, no, this is the exact Broadway. Broadway, yeah. West she Broadway. She finished dinner with a Namaro. Max. Yeah, I'm a lady who likes to dine. You yeah. know what I mean? She invented the, she invented yes. the Aperol Spritz with white women. I did, you and everyone nice has stolen it. What? There's nothing wrong with that. You enjoy nice things. I enjoy, I enjoy nice things, and I brought spritzes to the United she States. She did. Literally, did every you? white woman yeah. in America is drinking spritzes because that was her thing. She, she invented it in the United <laughs> and States. And then Aperol finally reached out to me because they were yeah. like, well, you're sending us so much, bit, so much business, but the guy who owns it is literally this guy named Bruno, who's like, why? Why would I pay a chubby American girl to sell us <laughs> stuff? Yeah. Why? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, so I did it wrong. I used to do like reverse marketing where I'd get really behind like Fiji water. Yeah, I drink yeah. it all the time and then they'd send me a check. They're like, we feel like we owe you. Yeah. Aperol was like, suck our dick. We're Italian. Yeah, yeah. Just come stop by the headquarters of Milan and yeah, share a cigarette a and an espresso. <laughs> <It's>, I literally. <laughs> Did you end up going? Um, no. And then. Um, I have the next flight. Yeah. And then everybody, you know, came up with She's Delta loyal. Right. She actually got to go to the Delta headquarters and mm -hmm. fucking play. Well, that's play, fucking play, play. Atlanta's the hub, like, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, which is funny. We were actually talking about this last night at dinner. And I she, she, when she went down the slide on the side of the road. Where were you dinner last night? Uh, where were we? Uh, Mil Milo's. Oh, yeah. Milo's, oh, okay. the Greek yeah, yeah, yeah. place Greek, in Hutton yeah. Yards. It was yeah. actually phenomenal. Hutton Yards is great. Cece Yama and Hutton Yards you have to go to. Can I be honest you with didn't you? Go, you don't like it? No. no. We went and had the worst service Stop, of I'm our life. Stop, I to go tomorrow. It's amazing. The food is amazing. No, but when I, I say yeah, we had one of the worst nights of our life there oh, and no. I never throw restaurants under the bus Good and I know. feel bad. Was it just slow and rude and nasty? Rude. Nasty. Yeah. Rude and nasty. But I'll tell you this. Oh, I'll tell you this. Good to know. They're so busy that I don't feel bad. It's not like they're going to lose business. Right. But as somebody who worked in the New York restaurants for so long and worked in hospitality before I became a comedian, Get it together, I girls. hustled. I have worked in right. so many goddamn restaurants. I have no tolerance for bad service. Ooh. And it wasn't like an off that take because so many people make excuses, especially yeah. people who work in the service industry, make excuses yeah. for bad service. Yeah. You're saying fuck that. No, I work. And I mean, I get it. Like nowadays, yeah. everyone's short staffed. I understand there's pressures, but I worked in fine dining and bars for 12 fucking years yeah. before this happened. So I am, I'm a good, good tipper. You know. I'm a, I'm an easy person to take care oh, of. Oh yes, yeah. you're, you're, you're a joy to be around. I'm literally like, it can come <laughs> out. You don't even have to course this shit. If you want to course it, let me know. Chef you're can cook so it at whatever easy. temperature. Bring me this bottle of Barolo. Easy breezy, bing, bang, yeah. bing. And then when you still got an attitude, I'm punching you in the twat. Yeah, yeah. But there's good <laughs> restaurants over there. They're good to know about Ciciamo. Yeah. Um, yeah, but there's a fabulous place there to eat and drink. I mean, like, Robin's going to have a field day and then she can do a shopping. She can sit down and have espresso. She could. Yeah, I'm going to meet her over there around. and see if she's actually going to buy a decent bag because yeah. I can't even. <laughs> she literally showed up with a, you know, those like, oh, did I already say this, the drawstring bags Stop. that you yeah, wear yeah. That, like on the, on the soccer yeah. team? Yeah. Yeah. She was going to go shopping today with one of those <laughs> and it had our country club logo on it. It's like a free bag Jeff got at the golf range. And I was like, <laughs> you look like a fucking tourist mom. You're from Boston. You live in Atlanta. You're a woman of the world. You've traveled the world. What the fuck? Where in Boston yeah. did you grow up? Uh, well, it's on the North End. So sure. I come from like old Italian mob. He's mob from um, oh, Franklin, yeah. Mass. I'm from Franklin. My oh, sister fantastic. and my sister and I have cousins there in the North End. Okay. I'm very familiar with fucking she, Monica's guy. Oh, yeah. Yup. We got yep. them all. Yep. Did you live there? No, we never lived in Boston, but okay. we were just in Boston and we were doing a little tour around the North End and everywhere my mom was like, so this way I gave Paulie a hand job for three cannolis <laughs> on this corner. The and North I'm End like, has the food it's unbelievable. I yeah. think it's better Little Italy than New York. And like the street. Is Mulberry that where you street? took me? 
Yeah. Was that not, was that it not was fabulous? Cute. Yeah. 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 yeah it's You're fun. like, eh. No. <laughs> it was it was a little darker than I expected in the sense that my mom just kept it was like the tour of trauma like everywhere yeah. we went she like had a really tumultuous upbringing. I thought she was like, the client's house. No, no, yeah. I, I, no, but she was she was just kind of like this was a this was a moment. This is when my parents got divorced on this corner, and oh, I was no. just like, this is dark. Like this is not as happy and joyful as I thought it was going to be in Boston. Yeah. Um, well, we should play a game a Let's little a little of sessions at the end of every show. Well, because you are a trendsetter. Yeah. I'm not, this is more this game is more greedy for me because I want to do I want to have everything that you have, and I trust yeah. your opinion on everything. So we kind of just like game of like what your obsessions are let's do currently. it currently so we're at the restaurant right now what restaurant in New York you're currently obsessed with um or anywhere anywhere in the globe what Lartuzzi oh, oh we love good. that that's yes. our spot we do we and Bartuzzi and Bartuzzi next door last time we were there we Bartuzzi. like had we kiki with Brooke Shields she was just Ooh. sitting next to us like fabulous were you at the bar yeah well we, we were at a table in the back yes. and then we moved to the bar, bar. Brooke Shields you know oh. what I mean oh <laughs> Lartuzzi is fabulous West Village spot it's, yeah. it's uh, the it's best delicious. pasta you'll have in your life yep. Haley's been there I believe oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay what about fr- home fragrance or candle I, I'm very diptyque right now. I'm, I'm all about. I love, uh, but I also like um, hotel lobby candle. Oh yeah, which is from one of my girlfriends. Lindsay. I know her. Yeah, she's phenomenal. But honestly, the candles are f- phenomenal. They are so good. My They're friend Kara uses them all the time. She has a small. She started a small business. Yes, hotel lobby. Yeah. Yes, what's hotel her, lobby. What's her name? Candle. Lindsay Silverman. Lindsay Silverman. And yes, she's my friend. Ama- is my, her, my friend's her makeup artist. Yes, yeah, she's incredible. And honestly, she has fire ass candles. Yes, that's, and it I makes you feel about like them. you're at like the satai and Dubai. Yes, you know what I mean. It's I fancy. totally <laughs> forgot about those. And they're half the price of the diptyque. They we are. Like that. We like hotel a sale. lobby. Yes. Um, what about current obsession for snacks? What are you currently obsessed with for your snacks at home that you can't put down? Okay. Well, I'm a Trader Joe's whore. Ooh, okay? we love it. We love Trader Same. Joe's here. I do the truffle, the, the truffle chips, um, potato they, chips. Yeah, the truffle potato okay. chips. They also have an almond butter stuffed pretzel. I like a salty, oh. a little sweet. Oh, I have one of those from Whole Foods. Yeah, the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. I also get, they have graham crackers the covered. The big peanut butter cups? The big peanut butter yeah. cups. But then I get these graham crackers and then yeah. they're covered in dark chocolate with a little like fresh salt. Oh, and the number one thing you got to get at Trader Joe's right Ooh. now. You're really feeling like a fat girl. <laughs> Listen up, so girls. I'm excited for that. Get, they have a horchata flavored ice cream right now, okay? Wow. If you've ever had a horchata, yes. the Mexican drink. Mexican drink. You, they have Cinnamon a, and. And make an affogato. So do a shot of espresso after dinner, one scoop of the horchata ice cream because it's cinnamony and a little milky. It's the best affogato I'm you'll so ever have. I'm so excited. Trader yeah. Joe's ice cream cream is very underrated. I just have the cookie butter one. The cookie butter ice cream. Insane. It was so good. Okay, I heard that. What about beauty products? What's your favorite beauty product right now? Okay, favorite beauty product. So I started ordering from this company that's not sponsored or anything. It's Thrive? called Beauty Pie. No. Oh, oh I love Thrive. Thrive, Thrive mascara. mascara. It's the my best. Favorite. It's what I have on now. <laughs> but this company out of, I think, London, Beauty Pie. They have the Beauty, beauty pie? pie. Beauty Pie. My esthetician Like hair said, pie. Yes. Like yes, cream yeah, pie. Yeah, cream pie. Like yeah. cream pie. Beauty Pie. Like Bukkake. Just like Bukkake. 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 Yes. Bukkake. <laughs> They're going to love this. No. I don't know. Serum. I just, all their serums, I'm obsessed beauty with Beauty Pie all. serums, like a hyaluronic serum or they're Face wash, everything. Beauty pie, I think they're gonna blow up. They're amazing. What else am I using right now? Um, this lipstick is called Baby from Merit, and I wear Nar. Everybody asks me on stage. Love I wear. Merit. Catherine is a fabulous lady. Yes, and I I, <laughs> I wear. Um, what do I wear? I wear uh, American Woman or Walk This Way by Nars. That's, Ooh, those are my colors. I love it. You heard it here first. And the last one. What about home? products or like cleaning products or like home care home Ooh. like products. I got one more If my that. house doesn't smell like Fabuloso, I'm Fabuloso, the purple. <laughs> That's honestly, if I was going to get a dip tea candle, it'd be Fabuloso. Classic. They should make candles. They should. They should do like it, a brand deal with something like that and make an event about it and like sell thousands of candles. You know, if you walk into somebody's house and you are hit with such a strong scent of Fabuloso that it yeah. makes you ill, that is a clean you fucking house. You know, they house. have a cleaning lady or they know someone who's, uh, they know a, a woman who knows the shit. I will sometimes just in the shower douse myself with Fabuloso. <laughs> purple Fabuloso. So people know that this bussy is clean. Yeah, that's yeah. Classic, cl- classic. And then set. we should yeah. do also. Uh, what are you watching? Something oh, that's to our binge show. Watch okay. Netflix. Binge yeah. watch. So this is movie, really contra- film, TV. Very controversial. Well, I'm X, back in X rated. I know this is not to be like on the nose with you guys. It's her Christmas movie, believe it or not. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> Love Hard. I just watched it on Netflix <laughs> over yeah. and over and over again. Um, I've been watching. Going back to RuPaul's uh, Dra- Drag Race All Stars. Yes, yeah. the new uh, one. Season seven. I'm yeah, not yeah. back up to eight. Okay, right, eight's a new Buckle one. Buckle in. So you're season yeah. seven right now. So you're with Sonique. Yes. Love and all those girls. It's fucking amazing. And I was late to the succession game because I watched the first two episodes on an international flight and was so bored out of my fucking that, mind. Right. But now I'm into it. But it's I haven't gotten me- into it yet. I'm still on episode one and a half. And I'm like, just I can't get once into you plow it. through that. And I hate when people say that, like plow through it and then it's good. Yeah. But now I'm into it. But it does give me like anxiety with my family. And we 
have a very like easy breezy family, but there are yeah. days where I'm looking at my sister. The like, father, yeah. And I'm like, can I trust you? And Ashley's yeah. like, why are you talking like that? You I'm asked like, me to get the know. cereal out of the pantry. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> What's yeah. funny about that show is how low the stakes really are. So like, low. they're all yes. still going to be rich. Yeah, like, yeah, they're yeah. really just fighting for like a title. And that's a title, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Literally yeah. a title. And I keep saying, just cash out. Yeah. I would literally, you know, I'd be like, just cash out, cash out. Even if you give me twenty mil, I'm sitting in the Hamptons, chilling the rest of my fucking life. Go to the Turks and Caicos. Fuck all of y'all. We're done. The son just wants the gratification. I'm sure probably later on in the season it shows about like him like wanting to being like distreated and like wanting to. What's the older one who did the drugs? What was his name? Kendall, Kendall, Kendall. Yeah. Kendall had it had it right while he was getting all fucked up and going out and doing these things. Then yeah, he wanted just, to get back in the game. Yeah. Yes, exactly. doing right? ketamine Thank at you. that weird yeah. party. Yeah, yeah, at the weird fucking yeah. Yeah. party. <laughs> Beautiful apartment he's in. Like, just stop working. We had our boss on Dave Portnoy. Yeah. I was like, why do you work? Like, what are you doing? You've Great made question. your, you've How made your now? money. It's my age, 45. Okay. But he's worth like I'm, $200 I'm million. Dollars. I'm like, stop I'm be working. Done. At 40, I'm 36 now. In four years, I'm hoping to be retired bitch. There you go. Check my yeah. pulse under an umbrella with the Mai Tai yeah. and the Turks and Caicos. Yeah. Why yeah. are we working so hard? Do you have a number? Like, she's the fish fry. Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell. Oh, I am, I'm way far off from my number. Rosie O'Donnell yes. had a number. She said, when I make $200 million, I'll retire. She okay, said, the well, second her bank account hit, I mean, we have all different numbers. Let's not shame Rosie O'Donnell. But when that happened, she stopped working. She's never worked since. That's what I said to Dave. You made your money. Do nothing at all. Yeah, we're, we're way off. Two hundred million. Doing nothing. I know. I It'll love do doing what nothing. It is. He doesn't spend a lot of money. He's a dollar pizza. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. We asked him. We yeah. go, what do you spend? He couldn't tell us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He well, couldn't gamble. tell us. Gambling. Houses. I mean, he has houses, but he gambles. His houses everywhere. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah, he loves a gamble. Okay. See, I'm not. Yeah. Again, live below your means. Get a yes. cute outfit from Zara. Maybe buy one nice bag, but yeah. buy it in Europe. Buy it at the Paris airport. Yeah. Where the VAT tax is, yep. you're done. Bing, bang, boom. You've already saved two grand there, and you know, maybe get a timeshare in the Turks. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> buy real estate. We could buy something, then rent it out to people, and then you know. It's a thing. You could return. Rent their fucking runway, bitch. We yeah. rent the dumb finance. runway. We should all combine finances. Yeah, should we? I think and that's kill Heather. the move, right? Yes. Yeah. She's got the move. <laughs> and then kill, and then kill Heather. <laughs> yes, but you need me like Weekend at Bernie's. You got to hold me oh, yeah. up yeah. so I keep yeah. tap dancing across radio. We'll make a, we'll make a, he's very smart in tech. We'll get a hologram made for the, for the shows. Yeah. <laughs> well, you are from the South, you know, and people right. people misjudge us. <laughs> I, totally. If, if I saw you, though, and you do not have a Southern accent at all. No, 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 no. I don't either. Why is that? I don't know. I'm also Jewish, so like maybe there's that. A Jew in Shreveport? Yeah. Yeah, it was a weird way to grow up. That's a wild experience. It's like seeing a cat walk on his hind legs. It's strange to see. <laughs> Where did you do the crawfish boils though? Are you? Oh yeah, you big say time. Kosher? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you did no, 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 no. I wasn't gonna live in Louisiana and not eat shellfish. Not eat oh, yeah. you got it. You got it. Actually, for Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Oysters. Yeah, yeah. Some people say oyster or like it, it, a thing that you put in a frame. You know what do you yeah. call that? Frame. No, no, no. no. What is? Oh, goes a picture. In a frame? Picture. Yeah, yeah picture. not picture. Let me say that. Picture. Picture. Marty, spoke, Marty only spoke Creole when he first moved here. Yeah. <laughs> now she's speaking yeah. tongue and Creole when she gets hot and bothered. <laughs> What's your Creole nickname? I, I didn't speak Creole. I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> know. You never have like, one? Like, 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 we have friends with very, like, and I'm talking like, yeah, you no. know, and then you don't even yes. know what they're saying. Look at all this Earl on my shrimp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh, you want to go to get a Dunkin' Donuts? And you're like, did you just ask? Like, my friend's dad, I'm like, did you just ask? That or just fell out of your pussy. What's my God. I wish you'd talk like that the whole show. I know. They didn't want to hear that. Shout out. Go, go Tigers. Uh, I hope everybody come to my show at Radio City. Join some day. Oh, you guys are having a good day. Yeah. Swamp people. Swamp people. Swamp people is the show that oh, yeah. I'm bending. <laughs> this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. I mean, here's the thing. We don't even really need to read an ad because this is a product that Joey and I have been using forever. It's a benefit that we have here at Barstool Sports. And it's something that, to be completely honest with you, has helped me tremendously with my better health and with my with my better health, with my mental health. The thing is, mental health, it's like brushing your teeth, right? You got to take care of your brain Mm -hmm. all the time in order to feel good about yourself and to just kind of lift the burden of everyday life off yourself and better help helps us with that. I like it too because everyone says th- things about therapy and they all like you think there's something wrong with you or you're a looney tune or it's, it's a stigma around it so you kind of like be shy about it and not like share your experience with it but it's quite the opposite. For me, I, I don't even think about it as therapy. I was thinking about like I get so excited when I get to talk to my therapist yes. so I get to basically talk to, I just got kind of gossip with her and I feel it's like gossiping I'm just <laughs> venting in a way and then she's giving me life skills on how to deal with things that came at me that week so, so how was her week 
how's this? How, she goes like, how do you, how was it this week for you? I said, well, you know, this kind of came up again. So I was feeling this way. How did this make you feel? And then you kind of just talk about what happened, how you react to things. And she gives me life skills on like, when something comes at me that I, that makes me uncomfortable, which I don't like, she gives me life skills on how to deal with it, how to, how to, you know, take it on, observe what's going on. And then how to like, so I don't like, you know, get in my head so much. So that's just my personal thing, but no matter what you're going through, what you want to talk about, um, they have specialists, um, in all 50 States. So you don't have to worry about not having to go to like, have not having specialists in your area. You can find it online. It's hundred percent online. All you have to do is go online and fill out a little, little questionnaire, um, just some basic questions and you're matched with the therapist. And if you don't like the therapist, you can go to them and never talk to them again, but it's hundred percent online. If you don't feel like seeing them on the, on the camera, you don't have to video chat. You can just do it over the phone through messaging, whatever you're feeling that day. It's completely customizable to what you need. Um, for, for your therapy needs. And the best thing, therapy is an opportunity to put yourself first, right? So BetterHelp is going to give you the tools to find more balance, more clarity. It's going to help you prioritize yourself and your mental health, which is a great thing for all of us. So if you're thinking about trying therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Like Joey said, it's all online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and most of all, affordable. So you can find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash out and about today to get 10% off of your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash out and about to get 10% off of the already very affordable BetterHelp. Give it a try. It's worth it. You're going to love it. You're going to feel good about yourself. That's BetterHelp. Now back to our show. Swamp people. Swamp people. I got that one. Yeah, Did you see Idol good. with um, Johnny Depp's daughter? So I haven't watched it yet. What a hottie little thing. Because I have no desire to watch. I've heard that The weekend is highly sexual in the show. Yeah, and it's kind of gross. It grosses Ooh. me out, The yeah. weekend. It's She's good. gorgeous. And yeah. she, I, I, I'm not, she, I don't even notice the acting because she's just doing breathy mo- noises the whole time. She's I think she's good. On it. She's good at it, but yeah. she's, what a stunning girl. Who's her mother? Um, a very famous French model. Oh, and wow. of course, I'm not, I'm not going to get her Who's name. Who's her in the mother? Moment. Who's her mother? <laughs> not yeah. Amber Heard. Judy Garland. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck Amber Heard. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. You know, Did he, you hear that Johnny Depp took all that money and donated it to charity? Yep. Good for him. The final yeah. fuck you. She she took a shit in the bed, tried yeah. to blame it on the golden noodle or whatever the yeah. fuck they and had. he turned down 20 million from Disney when they tried to get him back for Jack Sparrow. He said, fuck you, I don't want to do it. You've so what do we life. think he's they turned it back You know what I mean? Like, what was his number? How much do you think? I don't know. He's got to be worth it. I mean, he's those Disney movies. I think I actually wrote about him yesterday, the Amber Heard thing. Yeah. And I think it She's said he was like 200 million or something. See, I was hoping I to get a Disney franchise. Enough, I, that would be. But now that I've gone on this podcast, I don't, and talking about our bussies, I don't, <laughs> I think it's out. I think I just squandered that goal and yeah, yeah, you're, you're not playing Ariel. Sister. A 150, right. yeah. That's not, you know. I thought million. more. I thought, I thought more. more too. Film. How long did he spend a lot on the trial? He did spend a lot on the trial. Oh, oh, really? On the trial? He lost a lot. Holy shit. Oh, wow. million? He looks so much younger Oh, I didn't than realize it went that long. Oh, fuck that. How old is he? He's 60 years old. Oh. Yeah, I thought he was I. like, I feel like when you're that famous, you stop aging around like in your mid 40s. Well, yeah, because it's like go, Jared Leto. Yeah. yeah. When How I found out he was Jared 52, Leto? I said, are you out of your fucking mind? Who's your doctor? But see, you guys can wear a beard and hide a lot. Yeah, yeah. I already need my neck done. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm well, 36. You did, you did in, your, in, your, in your teenage years and then you had the lasered. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what'd, you get, no, what'd, you get, what'd you get done? Did she fucked no, her chin on, on, no, no, the, no. on the subway. Yeah, no, literally. I just, I, I had a nice five o'clock shadow. It was a hormone <laughs> therapy. Yeah, yeah. But no, she I- had melasma for years, okay? <laughs> I, I, did you? No, I was not oh, a melasma yeah. girl. No. But I've had every thyroid. Yep. The, I mean, I, I froze my eggs like six times because I have none and you know all my hair fell out so now it's well, extensions she, she has on, thick neck thin ankles thick neck that's thin how she made it into Hollywood thick, thick but now neck, it's loose neck thin oh, ankles my, my so plastic surgeon was like funny. I don't know how to tell you this is actually just loose yeah. fucking skin yeah god damn it <laughs> go, sister we're up. gonna pull you back I need to be nipped and tucked right here yeah so that's what they're gonna do on, on Saturday they're why don't you wear tapes tomorrow should I do tapes yeah do do Mark Trainer's tapes tomorrow I should no one will see that that big of a house girl no one will spook you no one will clock you girl that's the, that's the name of the episode, by the way. Thick or, neck, thin you know, do you know what old trick? This is my father taught me this trick. My father, my, the yenta father I have. You, when you have a friend with a picture with a girlfriend, come here. You go like this, some, put your hands around each other and you pull it back oh. like this. You oh, hold it back wow. for their friend. Be like, like this. You hold each other's necks. Do mine now. Come here. Wait, that's actually fucking genius. Wait, look at, look at, look at, we have to hide it. it. Yeah. That's, I learned that from oh, the old Greek women used to do that. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yes, they do, do they? that too. Yeah. And they pull each other's neck back for you. That's fucking brilliant. Tongue to top of your mouth. Yep. Uh-huh. Well, your mother it's gave some of, the, some of the greatest advice I've ever heard. She told Joey when he was a young boy, you know how to keep a man happy. There's three things. Yeah. Keep your keep their balls empty, their stomach full, yeah. and your mouth shut. Yeah. yeah. 
That's what Joe. That's the, Feed that's the parting words. Feed him the remote. Exactly. That's also. Yeah. That's all you have to do. The, the, the marriage advice that my mom gave me right before I walked down the aisle was Stop. the day you quit. Three years. She said the day you quit blowing them is the day they leave you. And yeah. that was so like, so let's go get it. married. Someone and I said, do it. that is a great point. Thank yes, you. somebody else will do it. Yeah, and yeah, I'm, and I'm like, like excuse me, father. Sense. In front of the priest, she said, yeah. it. Oh, "Excuse me, father." Some last word before I give the bride give the bride and away. And he was like, "You know what? Touche, touche, <laughs> touche. Sign of the cross, touche." Yeah, uh, here we are. Incredible. You know what I mean? Thriving, sweating. Here we are. Doing the fucking most. Yes, you know? always. Big show I love you guys. Tomorrow. So y'all are fucking crushing it. I know. I'm so proud Thank of you. you. Stop. So you've been you. blowing gas at me up, but y'all are fucking crushing Stop it. Stop or try. So Truly. Much. Thank you. And how does it feel? It's Pride Month. You know, you're making this about yeah. me, but it's really about y'all. Pride Month. I'm afraid to be, be prideful right now. I don't want to get a, a, yeah, a get brick launch at me. The fucking hate crime. They're burning flags everywhere. It's wild out there. Here in New York? All over the place. Oh, Nebraska. Fuck. Why is everybody so yeah. goddamn bothered all the time? I know. Relax. Yeah, my, yeah. Who can fucking we, relax. I don't care who, what, what uh, pig you're fucking from behind. Nobody yeah. cares. Yeah. Thing. Let, me do, let me do my thing. Well, I'm sorry. But you're in New York. Yeah. I feel like this is a good safe space. Well, we have a gate. The, the Barstool gave us our own double decker bus for the parade this year. Come, come on, it was oh, double decker bus. Amazing. Next weekend? Yeah, it's the 25th. 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 Great. Well, uh, we'll I will be there. there. I'll take my top off. No, yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> I'm gonna be in the Hamptons and I'll come down. Do you ever? Have, did you buy a place? No, did I buy a place? Who? I'm, no, I'm I know, not that I rich. Y'all, I, I still live I with my yes, mother. I, I need y'all to remember that. Okay. <laughs> Where in the Hamptons do you go? Um, no, I've never really done the Hamptons. We decided after Radio City, we just wanted to be yeah. very hungover and like you know stumble do into it. a home. Did you get a, get a nice Airbnb? We we had a nice. Uh, we rented from a friend, so oh, we're in oh, East fun. Hampton, but it's gonna be sixty degrees He's all Hampton's next week. Here. That's the, that's the Hampton where I was name lives. I. I uh, and, and, and I know. Yeah, who I, I go, go to past the house. And I'll beautiful. tell you, I stole, I stole a hydrangea from her front yard. Good for so you. Go through, go I through her it. house. I saw when you did that. Yes. No, yeah, go through her house uh, to her house, and there's a whole wall of them. You can peek in. You can see the little uh, outhouse. I didn't see Jeffrey sunbathing, but go to her house. I drink. Peek in. Yeah, <laughs> go to Citarella, fabulous. Go to Citarella for your, you know, for your groceries. Got to do it all. You know, do it all. I, and I, you know, I used to shop. Do- I used yeah. to do her as an impression forever. And I used to take her out on the road and tour as like Ina Garden. And I know, so people are always like, is she your friend? I said, she'll sometimes like things on Instagram, but if I ever comment on her stuff, it, gets it immediately blocked, gets taken deleted. down. Really? And we're not, she doesn't follow me and we're not, I'm not blocked. I can imagine it's that bizarre. she's doing it. I would it. show it's it to some her zesty, house. Some gay that yeah. has, has it doing it down. The one of her guys. Mm-hmm. That was one of my dreams as a young girl to be on one of uh, Ina Garner's gays. Yeah, I just want to bring, uh, I just want to bring over. That's not too late. Send me to the flower market to get to get the begonias. I would love party. to do that. To, to that is honestly, that's backyard. my top. If Ina Garner was just like, honey, retire from the comedy. Come and, you know, fluff Jeffrey's balls. I'd be like, done. Yeah. You don't even have to pay me. I just want to relax. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, okay. make, let's make a scone. Let's make a scone. Yeah. What is What a sassy, classy bitch. I love her. Well, yeah. thank you so much for coming hey, here thanks and for talking having with me. us today. I know. You're the best. Really I'm so it. excited for you tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to throw my panties on the stage. Yes. Thank you. Is your knee acting up? Yeah. Oh, I always. There's a storm coming. Yeah. There's a storm no, coming. No, literally. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Let me pull my neck. There's a storm coming. I feel it. No, it is. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, but it's Saturday, June 17th. It's going to be a beautiful day. And yeah. I'm going to shake my tits across the yes. stage at Radio City. And yep. it's the day before Father's Day. So I think oh, it's a good. beautiful homage yeah. to my dad who tried to discourage me from doing comedy. He'll be there with you. Follow Heather McMahon everywhere. I just Google her name. She's a famous, famous bitch. Um, thank you for joining us, Heather. You're a lifelong friend and a confidant. I love you. You're God a lifelong friend you. and a confidant. And everyone, shave your bussies. Yes. <laughs>